This last calculator it was created to show an individual without having a live person, teacher, or tutor the different steps to solving a huge equation that consists of uh, braces and parentheses, powers, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. There's an order in which you do them, and you already know that it's braces, parentheses, then uh, exponents, powers, then multiplication, division, and then at last addition, subtraction. And they're done in the order in which, from left to right, that they're found. But, so first off, in this one, we would do whatever we found within the braces first. And then the parentheses within the eye, sorry, that braces. Then we look for another set of uh, parentheses by itself, and then we found that, then it would do that. Then it looked for powers or exponents, and it found that I wrote it 3p4 is 3 to the fourth power. 4p2 means 4 to the second power, 4q. And then, of course, you have your other divisions, multiplication, exception. All right, since we changed that, let's go ahead and look at how it breaks it down for us. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. And another requirement I have is do not use double digits because my calculator will not be able to sum it when it gets too big. So use single digits whenever you are putting anything in this calculator so they won't have any problem solving it. And try not to move anything around because I, I haven't taking the time with if-else statements to write every possible if-else statement or every possible scenario. So leave it the way it is. It's not intended to do your homework. It's just show, intended to show you how to break it down. You're going to find, it's going to tell you everything you need to do. It's going to tell you the examples, what you do first, from what I've just put in there. And then it shows you the steps. So for instance, example, 2 times 2 plus 8 within the brackets, or the brace, it comes down here and solves it. 2 times 2 is 4, and then plus 8, and it does that, 4 plus 8. Then the second one is 4 plus 8, solve that. Come down here and solve that to 12, and it does each of This set right here is for whatever's in a brace, right there. I'm holding the camera. The next one will be for powers and exponents. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the next one is for a single set of parentheses. And it shows you what that single parentheses is in an example, and then it solves it. Next is powers or exponents. There are two, so it shows you the two examples, and it shows you the two steps to solving those. You see it solves the first one. And then it solves the second one. And it also shows you how it shows you what 3 to the 4th power looks like. 4 to the 2nd power, or 4 cubed. Then it goes to the division section. shows you the steps. It shows you what is required. And then it shows the actual mathematical equation done. Last addition and track subtraction. And that the end result will be 169.60. I'm sorry, 169.6. Okay. Now once again you can change this but I encourage you not to change it around because in writing my if-else statement, it will only take four, I'm sorry, up to eight addition symbols. You have to have one brace that has one set of parentheses, which will, in all would have two operators. And then you have to have an external set of parentheses with one operator. And then you have to have at least two powers. It's just too confusing to go through it all. It's not intended for you to do your homework. So do not change this the length of this starting out formula. You may change it around, like changing these numbers, and whenever you put a number here, make certain it's not a two-digit number. Always keep it to a single digit so that it, it always will work. Let's go ahead and change one more. 
this one, we're going to change this to from 3 to 9. At the very beginning, we're going to change this to 7. And we're going to keep the 2 there. We're going to make this 2. And we're going to change this to 5. And change this to 1. This is 2. Change this to 2. Change this to. If you can, keep them single digits. Change this to 2. Alright, and change this to 2 and 2. Let's change this to subtraction. Remember, you need to count and see how many addition symbols you have in here to ensure that you don't reach 8. Alright, and for what I've just changed, it breaks that problem down. And I'm not going to read it for you because you should be able to do the... Okay, see here it did what I said it was going to do. The problem didn't work, so... Um, Let's undo what I've just done. Let's not change that last one to a plus. Let's just... Well, I changed the last one. I changed this right here to a 3 minus. Don't change anything. Just leave all the equations the way they are outside of here. Now, here you can change uh, some of them, but it would probably be best not to change them. Its only purpose is to break it down for you. You can download this from my, Sky, uh, my Microsoft uh, Live SkyDrive, along with all my other uh, files and calculators and things that I've done. It's protected, of course, so you can't change the code. It's not meant to solve all problems. Just as I said, keep this as the length that it is with the same amount of operators just if you can change the numbers to one digit on the opposite side of each equation I'm sorry in on the side of each operator and it'll break it down for you you shouldn't have a problem let's do one more let's change this to three let's change this to five don't change the operators. Once again, do not change the order of the original equation in the yellow section. If you do, it will not work right. I have not wrote the code to account for every scenario possible. This way, it ensures to give you an answer. The answer to that is 133. We'll do one more and we're done. You're not going to change the length of the equation and you're not going to change the operators that are already there. You're just changing the number. Its only purpose is to show you the steps to solve a huge equation like this. Nothing more. Five. And this is going to be one. And 
สีThat down for us. You know if it uh, if you changed you know and if, you know if you've broken my rules because if you scroll down it will not show the end result under the addition subtractions and I haven't broken my rule it gives us an answer. Once again, this is only meant to show you how to work a huge equation like this. There's an order. Once again, the order is braces, parentheses, then you have powers, exponents, then multiplication, division, and lastly, addition, subtraction. And those are worked from left to right when you have, for instance, on the same level, you would have braces, parentheses. Braces come before parentheses. So you work whatever in the brace first. Uh, you go to the brace first, and if you have a set of parentheses in there, you work that, and then you work the whole problem in the brace. And if you have just a, a set of parentheses by themselves, next you work just a set of parentheses by themselves. Then you work the exponent's powers, whichever is left or right. And we've done that, and then you focus on multiplication, division, whichever comes first from left to right is what you saw first. And then lastly, addition, subtraction. So, once again, this is not intended for you to do your homework. It's only intended to help parents and students and just anyone, or whether you're learning, your, whether you're trying to get your GED or whatever, learn quickly and refresh yourself on certain math.